see, look at this. Okay, finally we can get back on this steel 031. The weather's cooled off and we're, the 100 degree days are behind us so we can actually work on stuff, get stuff done. Man, that, that hot weather was just draining me. So yeah, now we gotta get this carburetor, put a little, throw a kit in it, and then we'll clean up the bar and chain, and then we'll see if this thing runs, see if she cuts wood. So let's check it out. So yeah, let's take a look and see what she needs. It actually looks pretty clean. Look at that thing. Looks like a new one. Cleaned up nice. Can you guys see that okay? So let's see here. Let's open her up. Yeah, see that one was, that one was pretty dirty inside. The diaphragm's pretty stiff. And then we'll make sure we got all this crap off of here, all the old gasket material. It's weird, sometimes it pops right off and sometimes it holds on. So see, there's our metering valve. Let's see if it moves. Yeah, it looks like it moves. It looks like it's at the right level. See, this has to be level with the body. That looks pretty good. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now let's take the other side off. And I always try to make sure I take notice of the order of the gaskets, because see, it's got this one and then another one and then there's another one under that so make sure you keep keep the uh, order of them straight Ooh, yeah she got some gunk in there so i'm gonna flop this right on here so i know which order they were in so we'll t set this to the side for now just like that but yeah i see that gunky gunky old stuff and then there's a screen there too Where's my little pick? I can pick this screen out. See that little guy? Sometimes you can clean it, but usually the carb kit comes with a new one, so. So yeah, we'll give this a spray down. Maybe we'll take the, we could take the jets, or the adjusting screws out too. Mixture screws out. And it's pretty hard to get them mixed up because one's usually shorter than the other. Mm-hmm. So let's give this a spray out. I'll spray it out with some carb cleaner and then blow it out. Okay, now she's all clean. Looks good. Maybe we'll pop this needle and seat needle and <clears throat> lever out just for the just for the heck of it, just to make sure it looks fine. Keep your finger on it when you unscrew it because the, the spring will go flying. And then you'll never find it. So yeah, we'll put a new needle in. Just because I got one. Might as well. So plunk that bad boy in. Everything else looks fine. Should be just level with everything. Looks good. Tighten it down. Now we can put our new diaphragm back on. And remember, you gotta have the gasket too. This guy. So the gasket always goes first. Then the diaphragm. And this one doesn't have the 
this one just sets on there there's no there's no fork to hook on so some of them do some of them don't flop that bad boy on I always double check everything okay now we can move to the other side so what do we got so when you put the screen in you gotta sort of get it in there flat and then I always like to find something that's like that's like round about the same size because if you push it in sideways it won't it won't like bite in here this this will probably work You gotta push it straight down and then it'll sort of stick itself in there. There, like that. Okay, so we got a new screen. Now we gotta figure out which which pieces we got here. Which parts and pieces. Okay guys, I got the carburetor back together. I was a little confused on this this one side because there's some of the kids have there's so many different parts to it like there's this different patterns and some of them have this with two of these with one of these on one side and then another type on the other side so basically just <laughs> it took me a while to figure out which was which but basically just Make sure when you take it apart that you know, you know, which pieces are where. So when you put it back together, it's the same, but it's just sort of a sequence of stuff stacked together. So yeah, I sort of lost track and then I had to backtrack and hopefully I got it right. We'll see. <laughs> okay, now, now we can put this carburetor on. There. Mm -hmm. Put your throttle linkage on with the little clippy and we'll find our nuts. She's ready to go. Nice. Okay. Before we do the bar and chain, let's do the Let's do this and see if this thing runs. I can't stand the suspense. And I'll use my little squirter for a primer. Eric at Hotbox Pizza Truck got me these from one of his uh, food truck vendors. Works good for a squirt bottle. So we'll use that to prime it. Let's put some oil in it. Let's see if she tries to pop off for us a little bit. And so I always like to hold the saw up where it, the drink goes in, squirt some in and open the throttle up so it can go in there. Turn on our ignition. And then watch me, watch me struggle. Let's see if this thing rounds, you ready? Oh, ooh. to run. She sounds good. We'll prime her a little more. Sometimes it takes a while for these things to pick up fuel. Oh yeah, she's getting there. She runs. That's awesome. So, I think I'll put the GoPro on and then uh, we'll finish tuning it, clean up the barn chain, see what she does.
Okay, so we know the beast runs. See, look at this. Woo! She still needs a little tune, but we'll get the bar and chain on it and then we'll then we'll do it tune her up. Let's put the air filter back on. This is exciting. Wonder how long it's been since that thing's run, ran. So yeah, we'll get the air cleaner back on her. There. Okay. So all we got left is the air cleaner cover when we're all done. So let's move on to this bar and chain. So this bar looks pretty decent. It's a Windsor. That's a good quality, made in Canada. And so since this one's gonna be a user, because sometimes I like to um, use paint stripper and strip the paint and then repaint them, but since this is a, this is a user, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take, ooh, see there's a chunk coming off right there. We'll see if we can clean that up. But, uh, We'll take the grinder to it and see if we can see if we can clean her up a little bit and then we'll paint it and then we'll put it on so let's see where's my gloves yeah that looks pretty good Try not to grind it too much here. Just went over it lightly. I don't want to grind all the rivets off of it. But yeah, see it just sort of gives it a nice little cleanup. And then you get your old, get yourself like an old steak knife or something. And scrape out the groove. There's always a bunch of crap packed in there. And I know they got all these, they got fancy tools for fixing the, straightening the bars and, and uh, tightening up the gap and all that, but. I don't have all that fancy stuff. And then what I like to do is I take my, uh, I like to take my flat bastard, this guy, and I'll put the bar in the vise like this, and then just give it a little dress up like this. Get that sharp edge off of there. And then maybe go across the flat top like this. cleaning up nicely and then the edge like this oh yeah that looks good now and flip her over because that's yeah, amazing how they'll get like a nasty burr all along there. Oh yeah, that cleaned up good. See that little spot that was chunked out right there? It's pretty much, pretty much gone now. Eutimus. Ooh wee, look at that. 
Mm-hmm. She cleaned up pretty good. And then, what I like to do is spray it off with some brake cleaner. That gets all the grease off. Hang this bad boy up. And if you want it to stick really good, you gotta use the self-etch primer, U-pole etch primer. It sort of has a little bit of an acid in it. And it sort of bites into the metal. It works really good. So just give it a light coat of the etch primer. Let that dry for a minute. And then I've been using this Krylon Piston Gray. Piston Gray, it looks sort of nice for these chainsaw bars. There, yeah, that's better. It had some chunks on it, that's why it was spitting. So we'll let that dry, we'll take a little break. Then we'll put her back together. The oiler's working too on this thing, look at that. Nice. Okay guys, I actually, so here's the bar, all painted up. Ooh, it looks like a new one. And I actually found another chain that was fairly decent, so for time management purposes, we'll throw this decent chain on here and fire it up and see how she does. So, let's do it. Get this chain on there here. Go. There you go, Betsy. Bar cover. Oh, look at this. It's starting to look like a proper saw now. Yeah, I hate that. Don't you hate that? You always, seems like you're always rushed for time. Rushed for time, all the time. Tighten that bad boy up a little bit. Ah, oh, there we go. Nice. She's gonna be a proper firewood saw. We'll put our, well, no, we don't need that yet because we still have to adjust the carb. Okay. She is ready. So let's go give her a little tune real quick. Oh yeah, look at that bad boy. Oh, she's still cold. Too much. Leaned her out too much. Okay, that sounds pretty good. Let's put the air cover on it. Get that on there. And these air cleaner covers are cool. It has a, it has like a Zeus fastener, like a race car on it, sort of. There, look at that. Oh, look at that. Let's see, what do we got here? What do we got that we can cut on? Oh, right here. Here's some stuff. Oh, <laughs> 
Okay guys, you saw me struggling with the old beast a little bit. So what I had to do was readjust the uh, metering level because it wasn't getting enough fuel and so it was starving of fuel. It would run good for a while and then it would starve out and then it would run okay. And So I popped the carb back off and uh, I raised the metering level just a little bit to give it a, more, a little more fuel. So now let's see how she does. Oh yeah, much better, nice. Okay guys, there's another one back from the dead, the steel 031. Nice little wood cutting saw right there. Look at that thing, she turned out nice. I sort of screwed up my paint on the bar because I got in a hurry and tried to use it while it was still fairly fresh. Should have waited a day or so, but we can touch it up. But yeah, that's a nice one. All right, I'm off to the birthday party, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.